back to earth and they're still um, out there on that trajectory uh, right now. And, uh, and it occurred to, so this was 1977 that they were doing this at NASA, and it occurred to the team at NASA, of which uh, Carl Sagan was obviously one, um, that if they were going to send these things out into space, never to come back, then there was a chance, uh, a very small chance, but a chance nonetheless that they might be discovered uh, by aliens, right? So they decided to put something on board these spacecrafts that would, um, if they were ever discovered by aliens, that sort of tell the story of where they'd come from and um, tell the story of Earth and, and humanity and who we are. Um, and because it was 1977, the, the form that that took was uh, a vinyl record. Uh, and onto this, uh, onto this vinyl record, they uh, recorded like samples of uh, music from all over the world and greetings in all the languages of the world and then um, some lovely like hippie stuff like the sound of a mother kissing her newborn baby for the first time, uh, stuff like that. And I love this story for so many reasons. And, uh, and one of them is definitely that I love the fact that in the 70s that is just the kind of shit they spent government money doing. Do you know? <laughs> like, making mixtapes for hypothetical aliens, that's amazing. <laughs> and I think they were right on, believe me. That is yeah. exactly what I want my governments to be doing. So, um, so uh, that, was, that, was their, that was their thing. They, they made these two records. Uh, they called them the Sounds of Earth and they gold-plated them and they put one on board each. Uh, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Now, the person who was in charge of getting all these pieces of, of sound and music together, uh, the cultural curator of that project was a woman called Anne Droyan. And when she was like very near the end of the of, uh, very near completion of the project, she had almost all of the music that she wanted, but they were just missing a piece of Chinese music. And she found this uh, piece of Chinese music that was two and a half thousand years old. And uh, she called up her colleague at NASA, uh, Carl Sagan, she called him up on the phone at 10.30 at night to say I found this piece of music. And they spoke on the phone for an hour, and at the end of that hour-long phone call, they were engaged. Right? Wow. Uh, and this is all completely true. And they got married, and they stayed together until he died in 1996. Um, and it even gets better than that, because <laughs> she said to him, you know, so we're, we're trying to recreate like humanity and, and, and tell the story of, of Earth and who we were. And by the, by the way, like if these things ever get discovered, they're now so far away uh, that Earth will definitely be gone by the time that they're discovered, which is like in a way even more beautiful, isn't it? So she said to him, you know, we're, we're trying to sort of tell the story of who we as a people kind of were and, and you and me are falling in love and that's the most amazing, powerful, incredible human experience we have. So let's try and get that down on this record as well. So she said to him, let's also record our heartbeats and our brainwaves when we're thinking about how amazing it is that we fell in love and that we found each other out of all the people in the world. And, uh, and that is still out there on these things that are still going through the universe today. And, uh, and I read that and I thought, if I can't write a song about that, <laughs> I must be crap. <laughs> because that writes itself, doesn't it? So this is a song about that. Um, it's called The Golden Record and it goes like this. Take down every inch of you in gold, engrave it in the metal of my soul, and send it out to worlds beyond those known to find a cosmic gramophone. Well, no listener would ever understand the lightning bolts between two grains of sand, so people never witness shooting stars. And most never know a love like ours And I didn't know My heart was closed Until you came to unlock it Yeah, you found the perfect song And I couldn't stop it, not for anyone So send it in a rocket Yeah, to play after I'm gone You're the plug that fits my socket all the lights came on And if I could reach beyond the stars that we can see To sing for them a song of you and me Well, no amount of any greatest hits Could explain the way 
till every beat my heart has missed Or the trembling in my hands when we first kissed How time and space and sense and circumstance Were gone when you began to dance Yeah.